Valerie Maynard, 125th Street Subway Mosaic Visit by Carol Bowen. I go through the station every morning on my commute to work. When you enter the station, you arrive in a main hall with turnstiles. After going through the turnstiles, you see mosaic murals on each side, represented here by the red shapes. Valerie Maynard grew up in this neighborhood, Harlem, very close to the Apollo Theater. She saw the jazz grades close up and personal, what we now see as history was just part of the fabric of life of the neighborhood. The mosaics were fabricated by Mayoto Mosaics. You can see a signature pattern, a kind of vocabulary of tiles throughout the mosaics. It's mainly vertical and horizontal, but it does switch within diagonal shapes. One of the beautiful visual elements is the illusion of transparency created by the juxtaposition of colors. This figure appears to be translucent purple as it's divided by the geometric shapes, but none of the tiles are actually translucent. The masterful arrangement of colors creates that effect of transparency. You'll see this effect in many other areas of all the mosaics. The translucency contributes to an otherworldly, ethereal sense. The images are fractured in a cubist way. The original cubists were white men who appropriated African iconography. Maynard's pieces reflect an authentic connection to African art while using many of the devices of cubism. Look at the amazing combinations of colors within each shape. It's like a quilt. All are formed with a similar mosaic tile pattern. The mosaicist's interpretation of the arrangement of tiles is really gorgeous. Here's another jazz scene in a high key pale color. The figures here look very much like African motifs. The African themes seem to pay homage not only to the rich history of Harlem, but to its roots in Africa and African art. Each stairwell features small mosaics that include black women's faces. The faces are divided by shapes that remind me of sacred geometry. All the mosaics are divided by abstract shapes. They look like rays of light. This officer gives us a sense of the scale of the pieces. The repetition of the figures creates a visual rhythm. And notice the gold smalty in the outlines. You can see that these two more abstract artworks are opposite each other in this mezzanine. The other mezzanine has the mosaics of the jazz figures. Like the pair of jazz mosaics, one of these abstract pieces is saturated with brilliant color and the other is in paler, more pastel hues. Again, you see that beautiful translucent effect. The mosaics seem to convey an inner light. The material is glass smalty, a kind of thick glass that's cut with a hammer and chisel into these cubic shapes. In this stairwell mosaic, I get that sense of spirituality, the emphasis on the polyrhythmics of consciousness and light that's the title of the piece. And I get to enjoy this vision every morning as I go down the steps towards my train.